Hi there, once again welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad to have you back on Agiotech. If you are visiting my channel for the first time, then I'll be glad if you subscribe and turn on post notification so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorials. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how you can easily contact Facebook support or Facebook customer support. How you can send them direct message. So as you can see, I've just submitted some message to them, some issues to be addressed. You can easily forward that to them. So I'm going to walk you through how to do that. If this is something you like, give me a thumb up and then also subscribe to my channel. So most of the time, when you want to contact Facebook support and have issue address on your Facebook page, just click on the account. So click on the account and then you can. So when you click on the account, just have the option to select help and then support. So when you open that, you have either the help and then the support inbox. Okay. So when you open the inbox, reply to your messages or your issue that has been addressed or resolved will be within your support inbox. In this case, you want to contact the support direct. So you have to click on what help center. This basically will be open in a new tab. And this is where you can search for whatever issue you want to find solution to. So you can easily type in the search button here. So whatever you are looking for on this page, the best you can do is type this in the search button over here and then search for that. And most of the time you may search and search and search and you may not be getting the exact solution that you want. There are some other popular categories that you can search for like account settings, login and password, privacy and security. And then we have groups pages and the marketplaces. So we may likely not get the solution you want and you want to contact Facebook support direct okay, or customer service. So just scroll down and you can see we have what's looking for something else. So just open this. So we are basically looking for something else. So let's open this. So when you click on that, it's going to take you to the Meta Business Help Center. So under this, you can type and still search for and get help. Facebook just want to limit the traffic on them just by giving ways to get the solution yourself but we want to send them direct message so so we are not going to type anything over here there are other popular categories you can see contact support in comments manager about business pages and you can see number of views under this solutions to articles but we want to contact them direct so when you scroll down we still have find answers or contact support and what we need to do is that you can either click on this or just scroll down to the footer and you can see we have the support over here you just click on this to open support so this is going to open the facebook support page for you you can see the meta business help center get support so this is where we can get direct support to whatever issue that we want okay so i've already sent some Enquiries concerning something you can see this has been received and you can see in progress and completed whatever attention has been given whether it's in progress i'll get that if it's completed i can get solution to that so when you get to this page we want to first select an asset maybe your page that you want to use to contact facebook support select the issue and then we get help for that so you're going to contact them direct so i have several business pages maybe i may want to use one to contact facebook and i will need to go ahead and select any of the pages that i want to use so let's say i want to use this that's the key store i can just open this so i'm going to select one of my accounts so i'm going to use this to do that so it's going to select the issues that are available so when you select that this is what we're going to get you can see we have select an issue my business manager account as advertisement restriction my button to verify my business is disabled i want to create a new ad account in business manager so these are basically information here that you can easily use to address whatever you want but we want to contact them direct we want to contact facebook direct support so you can see we have what other business manager issue so maybe what you are looking for is not part of this list so what you can do is to click on what other business manager then you can type in the issue you want to 
send to Facebook support. So you have to click on that and it will give you option to type in your own issue and then Facebook will resolve that for you. So let's wait and then we'll type whatever information we want that we can send that. Type in whatever information you want over here. So whatever your issue is, you want it to be addressed. You can just type that here and the information just please just type whatever information you want to send to facebook in my case i have some information i want to send to facebook and then i have this and notepad i'll just copy that information in your case just type whatever message you want to send to facebook and then just have that information pasted right here and then paste that information here and what you have to do is that if you have a screenshot to support whatever message you want to send to facebook just make sure you select that uh, screenshot and then add it okay and then also go ahead and then enter your phone number okay that would be the easiest way for facebook to contact you facebook can easily contact you direct since you are contacting the support so enter your phone number so enter your country code and then the phone number that you're supposed to use you can see it still thinks i need to add a phone number for so it still thinks I need to add a phone number for this to start showing for me to send this message. So I'm going to enter a phone number and make sure your phone number is was correct. Once you are done typing the phone number, it will make your send email world active. So once this is set, you can go ahead and then submit this to what Facebook. So let's click on send email. So this will be processed and then it will be submitted successfully. Once this is submitted successfully, you should be seeing what this page request submitted. And that is all. Once Facebook is done reviewing whatever, Facebook is going to give you a reply via email or maybe via contact. I think the best way they would do is that to send that to your email. And then you can also, you are likely to also get a notification when you go back to Facebook. And then you check what your support inbox. So most of the times that is where you have to assess that so we'll go to the help center again and then just view your support inbox go on help and then support and then open what support inbox any reply that facebook is going to get any reply i want to get from facebook it should be within your support inbox so this is basically our support inbox whatever we reported to facebook when Facebook attend to that, Facebook will be able to what give us reply to that. So you can be monitoring this place when there's any report or reply to your message. You can easily get that within your support inbox. Okay. So thank you so much for watching this short tutorial. Remember to like, subscribe, and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorials. Till I come away again. Bye bye.